Hey everyone, welcome to Pipes Tobacco and Whiskey. So today we've got our second installment of Tobacco Tasters and today we are going to give you our thoughts and hopefully you'll share your thoughts with us as well on Amphora's Original Blend. Now, I gotta tell you, when it first came, um, I opened it up and I immediately put it in our mason jar. So I didn't yeah, leave it in the pouch it. or whatever like that. But it does come in a pouch uh, and it's a resealable pouch. So that's kind of interesting. It really is uh, um, a workable kind of pouch that you yeah. can carry with yourself and kind yeah. of keep your tobacco a little bit fresh. Especially if that's the only thing you're smoking during the day, you're going to go through it pretty quickly. So it's not going to... Be, yeah, it's never going to dry yeah, out. Yeah, it's not going to dry out too much. But anyway, this is made by McBaron. And, of course, McBaron actually was making this blend in 2006. By 2015, they owned the blend. Okay. So, McBaron owns this blend now. It is a Burley base. It has uh, Burley, Cavendish, Kentucky, Oriental Turkish, and Virginias in it. Now, it says that this has a cocoa chocolate topping on it. We'll talk about that as we get into it a little bit. Yeah. It's a ribbon cut. It comes in 50 gram pouches. It's made in Denmark. And you can get this just about any place that sells, you know, online places. Uh, you may be even be able to go into your grocery store or your a, drug store. Yeah, I saw it at a local tobacco shop that's here in town. Um, they have it right next to the Sir Walter Rayleigh and the Half and Half. Yeah. Strength on this is moderate. The flavoring on this is mild. The taste is moderate. So let's go ahead and start talking about this. Now, guys, we want you to share the experience with us. So make sure, please, that you're doing these things the, um, as we are doing them so that you can kind of uh, give us your opinion on whether you uh, smell and taste and, 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 and uh, get these... Uh, notes that we're getting or if you're doing something different okay all right well let's go ahead and talk about the tin note now um like i said i i let i open this up i let it air out for about an hour and then i put it in the jar mm -hmm. because i felt like it was just a little bit moist but um anyway that's that's what i did mm. so <clears throat> I I don't get so much of the cocoa on this one. Mm -mm. I will say the first time we sat down and smoked this, which was a couple shortly, weeks ago. It, well, yeah, and it was shortly after you got the mm -hmm. got the blend. Um, that's when the cocoa was the strongest for me. Yeah, that's when that's when I felt like those. Um, those flavors were a lot more present, and it, it was, it, it was even giving me a, a slight of, of a chemical type smell. You know that artificial uh, additive smell that sometimes really goopy Cavendishes have and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's just such a it's a pleasant smell now. I'm telling you one thing. It, it, I'm enjoying it way more now than I did when we first had it. A slight molasses smell. There's from that a, there's a sweetness. There's a sweetness in there, but it's like a nutty sweetness that's really calm and mature. Yeah. There's a sweetness in there. There's an earthiness in there. There's uh, a little hint of, of a chocolate, but I actually get more of a dark fruit yeah. kind of smell. Yeah, in me here. too. It's, it's really interesting, and the burleys are really coming forward to me. I'm getting a lot of that natural burley smell in there. Yeah. Of course, it has some Kentucky in it, too, which is also a burley that's, that's gone yeah. through a, a process. So, uh, yeah, that, that's really a nice tin note. And I agree with you. I think the tin note was much more uh, pungent. It was a good word, yeah. Uh, when we first opened it, as to now, which is maybe, what, three weeks later? Yeah, not a lot of time, but, I mean, at the same... I mean, to be sold as an over-the-counter blend, typically your pouches that you carry with you, you smoke every day, don't make it to the third week. Sometimes those are right. those are emptied. Right. So, that's one thing that I would say is against it, is just, now, this is a, this is a really 
good smoke. I yeah, like this. It's a good smell. It's a nice. good smell. Really, yeah. really nice. And it's smoking really well, too. There's a really nice nut, earthy nuttiness that's coming through that also that I really, get, really enjoy. These, these, some of these OTCs that we've been smoking, man, when you give them a little, just like a week or two, yeah, they re, those burleys are really coming out well. Give, them, open give up. me a love of burley. Yeah. More than like the burley blends we tried a long time ago. You got anything else that you want to share on the 10 note? Mm. Guys, what are you what are you experiencing on the 10 note? Yeah. Write it down. Go, go underneath the, the video and post your comments on there and let us uh, let us know what you're thinking about this. Share with the community what what you uh, think about the 10 note on this one. Uh, of course, you may have just opened the 10. You may have gotten it Two months ago, yeah. who knows, we'll, you know? Yeah, you may have gotten it right when we gave you the heads up. Yeah, so make sure you share that with us. All right, cool. Well, let's go on to the taste. All right, what are you getting on on this one? This is not a complicated smoke. I think it's really burly forward. Um, the chocolate taste is, to me, non-existent. I get a slight kind of earthy kind of really burly forward blend to me uh, some nuttiness some earthy woodiness that's that's about it pretty straightforward but it's smoking consistently and i am actually enjoying my experience go slow just puffing. go ahead and take a sip the first thing that hit me when i just took a little slow sip was are, are you trying it yeah i'm gonna try it i gotta get it Honey. Yeah, a little sweetness. There's 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 a, there's a little honey in that in that uh, profile as well. Uh, definitely getting the smoky kind of earthy tones to it that Burleys are are known for. Yeah, see, just that little, and it's on the exhale, right when you open your mouth after that little sip. And it just kind of sits there on the tip of your tongue. Yeah. That's where you get that nice little that little poof of sweetness. Like the only thing, and I don't know how many people are going to be able to relate to this, but when you used to buy the old school hot chocolate tins, they came in like coffee tins. This is like 90s kids when you guys would buy us hot, hot cocoa or stuff like that. They didn't come in the little packets that you could open up and pour in. Right, you drink. scooped it out. You had to scoop it out like it was coffee. <laughs> and, and, and when you would first open that tin, that slight kind of cocoa taste, the cocoa smell. Not like milk chocolate. Real cocoa. Like real cocoa. Yeah. That's that little effervescent taste that just... Oof, right yeah. there and it's it's really pleasant but it's not powering you know mm -hmm. i read in a lot of the reviews where they were saying that all oh, the the chocolate taste the cocoa mm -hmm. taste and i i'm i get more of an earthy nuttiness i get, I get um that that slight honey yeah taste in there and i get a little bit of the grassy hay kind of taste um very light in spice and very light in the that sour note. Yeah, from the yeah. from the Orientals. But man, this is to me this is a this is a burly strong, very earthy, very nutty, a very slight sweetness to it. To me, that cocoa taste is one of the mo more interesting, pleasant parts. And I think it's just because it matches that sweetness, that kind of honey taste that you get a little bit with the 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 earthy smells and tones just makes it go kind of like cocoa but you know not really really strong like many of the blends that i've smoked the first trying of it you get you formulate an opinion an idea I think so too yeah and then you come back to it like we're coming back to this three weeks later and it's it's different. Different. It's different. It's, it's totally it's, different than it's what I thought. Much, yeah, because I, the first time I tried it, I was like, it's okay. I would have gave it a two. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. I'll smoke it if somebody gave it to me. Like, hey, pack yourself a bowl. Okay, well, I'll, I'll go ahead and do that. But, you know, now it tastes like something that I'd be like, oh, this is a, this is an all day. You this know, there's a, lot, there's a lot to, to say for 
letting something sit and do its thing, mm-hmm. you know, just kind of relax, I guess, mm-hmm. kind of, you know. Well, that well, definitely... That's why we take up this habit. This is not a quick smoke, you know, go go take a 15-minute break, go back and work on the line kind of, right. kind of habit. This is something you sit and enjoy 20, 30 minutes. Well, and I think that's what a pipe smoker is really looking for is those nuances mm-hmm. that that are in all these different tobaccos rather than just a quick nick hit and then, you know, yeah. go back and do whatever it is. Yeah. You know, yeah, I, I, I really, I, I really have gotten to the point where I am opening my tins. And you're not trying it until two and weeks And I don't later. even smoke it. Until two weeks later. Until two, three, four, even sometimes months later, you know. Yeah. I've got a tin that said it's recommended to age for two years. I bought it and I haven't even opened it yet. Yeah. That one's still sitting there. I know it's supposed to be amazing at the two year mark. It said don't try it now, so I haven't. I haven't even opened it, and I'm eight months into my two years. Well, good luck on waiting for that. I, I'm usually, sometimes I'm not that patient, so we'll see. Yeah, I got plenty of other stuff that I'm doing <laughs> on the way. All right, well, let's talk about the room note. What are you getting on this room note, guys? Post your ideas on the tastes. Get those get those comments down there. So this is a pleasant room note to me. What All are you picking sudden, up? What are you picking up in your room note? Man, it's really... I'm picking up smoke. Yeah, there's a smokiness. A smokiness. Like like a woody smokiness. Yes, yes. Like like fire pit oh, yeah, thrown yeah. on it or something. Um, and I think that's from the Kentucky. I think so too. Uh, and, and maybe some of the burlies with a little bit of that wood, woodsy, that nuttiness that kind of chirps through it. But... There is a slight, and it's not a floral note, but a, a slight sweetness in the air. Yeah. And that's where I'm really, really, and I think that's where it's playing with my taste buds. As we're both smoking the same tobacco, I am smelling the sweetness more than I'm tasting it, but it's consistently recirculating So look at, look at our list of, of tobaccos. Which one have we not talked about? That Cavendish, yeah. There's like, and we don't even have any notes written about the Cavendish. And the I smoke think or this is where the Cavendish think, comes yeah. out because I think there's a slight vanilla. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, because I was like, it's not a floral scent, like a very fruity, um, you know, peach flavor in the air or anything like right. that. It's 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 just a sweetness that you get from just like oh. I just want a little sugar with that my coffee, and that's the kind of sweetness. Just a yeah. very, very light sweetness. Yeah, that's that's what I'm getting also from the from the room note. I get the, I get that smokiness that we talked about, mm-hmm. that earthiness. Um, I get a little bit of kind of a floral hint, but I but I also get that that little. That's where the that, vanilla. Yeah, this is where the that that sweetness is playing in. And I think that's the, the part that keeps drawing you back into the puff is like, because I can't put my pipe down because I want to keep smoking it because something keeps telling me, ooh, that, what was that? What was that? What was that? What was that? You know, I've, I've tried this a couple of different ways. I've tried to uh, smoke it nice and slow sipped. I've smoked it regular my, at yeah, my regular yeah, cadence. Yep. And I've smoked this hard. Yeah. And all three ways were a different experience, but not an unpleasant experience. Mm-hmm. It was all three ways a, uh, an enjoyable experience, something uh, different and new. Um, I, I really did like it. All right. Um, we want your thoughts about the room note. Make sure you're putting that in your comments. Um, this is, I, I'm, I'm, I got to say, I am enjoying this a couple weeks after two or three more goes. Than I was when we first opened this. Yeah, because when we first opened it, I think I would be with you right at a two and a half, maybe a two. It was a you okay know, smoke. Not to say that this is an inferior quality leaf that they're using. McBaron uses great stuff. Mm-hmm. But I wonder if it's leaf that has not undergone <clears throat> quite the rigid ex- inspection and aging and... Uh, drying and yeah. you know all of those this processes. Is their, this is their stockpile, and they just go just grab a handful. 
So every now and then you get some really good stuff, but then at the same time, it's not the stuff that's been filtered through and qualityed out. This is the oh. I'd be interested package. in hearing your thoughts too, guys, because we're we're wondering about the consistency from pouch to pouch to pouch. You know, is this going to taste exactly the same? Uh, maybe three months from now, when I when I buy, buy a new, new pouch, a new pouch. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. something that I'm interested in too. Yeah. You know, I th I thought the moisture level on this was a little moist. I think I, it was I, moist when it first got This it. particular batch that we're smoking, I let sit out for about 20 minutes. Yeah, this is this is right where it's at right now. I'm, I'm having to go back for some relights, but I'm not sure if that's because I packed it quickly or because, you know, the state of the tobacco itself. But I still think it's just a little too moist for my comfort when I first smoke it. This is like in all those OTCs, what I do in the mornings is I'll grab my package, I'll take a pinch out my um, my day's worth of smoking, I'll put it in my bowl, and I'll set it right there on my armchair in my truck. And it kind of sun cooks in that stuff, and every now and then I'll just fill it up from that bowl uh -huh. into my pack, and it's great smoke through the whole day. I've gotten to the point where <clears throat> my morning smoke, whatever I think I'm going to smoke in the morning, mm -hmm. I'll set it out overnight. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, especially, like, I've been getting to smoke a few aromatics in the mornings. And my favorite so far has been the chocolate flake, the Bob's chocolate that's flake. That's a pretty good one, yeah. But, you know, it is pretty moist. And so I, I'll, I'll rub that out and I'll set it in a bowl overnight, come in the morning, load it in my pipe and start smoking it. Bingo. It's it's perfect that way. It's absolutely perfect. All right. What do you think about the nicotine content on this? Is it now remember this is a burley, so it's got some Kentuckys in it and it's got some burleys in it. Ooh. It's tough to tell you now because I've spent the last two months smoking burley based blends. So I would say now the way it's it's, it's at a mild. Now, if I were, that's me puffing it. That's me sipping at the tobacco. If I were to hit this really, really hard, I would say, yeah, these things have, these. this does have some power. It could be a moderate hit, something that you would need to take your time with, I think. Yeah, I think overall it's a moderate for sure. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, we talked about a few things on this one, guys, uh, that this was made by McBaron. Um, there's really no bite to it. It's, yeah. it's pretty cool and smooth and clean. Um, it's, we talked about, it's not real complex, but there are enough flavors, different flavors in it to keep you interested in it. I think, yeah. um, it's consistent. It's not very harsh. Uh, we've had to do some relights on this, uh, that leaves a little moisture in the bowl. <clears throat> it's got a pretty nice aftertaste. Yeah, I think so too. Yep. Uh, and it won't ghost to bowl. That's one thing I've always been worried about is with this particular tobacco's uh, what are they going to do to the pipe that I'm smoking them in? And they, they don't do too much. They just smoke through like most quality other tobaccos that we've smoked yeah. as well. I've always felt like Burley's kind of dry out a bowl and kind of refresh it, kind of clean it, you know, uh, for lack of a better term. Maybe that's what it's doing. That's yeah, what I don't I, I, that's what I always thought that my Burley's did for my pipes, but I don't know. Well, you know, maybe it's just my imagination. Um Definitely an all-day smoke. I think so too. It's easy on the palate. <clears throat> Burns pretty well. Mine, look at look at that. That's nice gray ash in mm -hmm. that one. Yep. Um, it's it's nothing fancy, but pretty reliable and absolutely predictable. Yeah. Um, one thing. This is very popular in in Europe. This amphora stuff. Yep. Yeah, it's a big one, especially with the price of tobaccos like they are in Europe. Yeah. This one is is more of a more affordable um, blend than some of the yeah other stuff. than some of the other stuff. Uh, it's a classic blend that's been around for quite a while, you know. So uh, it's it's been proven for throughout time, you know. Yep. Uh, this comes in uh, fifty gram pouches. We talked about that. It's eight dollars and five cents a pouch, which comes to about four dollars and fifty cents an ounce is what this costs. So. About the same as some other bulks or yeah. maybe low, low, uh, low priced tins. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, we're, we don't, we don't give this a rating mm -mm. because that's up to you guys. You tell us 
what you think about this one, and you give it a rating. Uh, I know what I'd give it right now, but right now, me too, we'd yeah. like to hear from you guys and see what you, you all think. All right, well, that, you know, like I said, this if I had to give this review three weeks ago, it would not have been as it positive. It wouldn't have been the same. Yeah. No. Um, it, it, it really has gotten better over the short time that we've let it sit. I think so, too. Yeah. Um, the next Tobacco Tasters is going to be the last Monday in April. I believe I looked at the calendar, and that was the 25th of April. Okay. And we are doing McBaron's, and boy, another McBaron product, McBaron's Vanilla Cream. Now, you can get that two ways. You can get it in a bulk, or you can get it in a tin. And I've bought both. And I'm smoking both right now. So I'll give you my thoughts on both of those. But uh, that's going to be the next Tobacco Tasters. Next week, I'm going to share a video with you that um, I was lucky enough to do at the Mule Town Pipe Show. It's a video uh, on how to finish a pipe. You remember that we bought those RNA Treasure yep. pipes and yep. they were they were bare wood and we kind of did some finishing on there. Well, this video gives you even a little bit more that you could do to make those pipes look really, really great. Very cool. Yeah, so I'm going to share that with you guys next week. All right, got anything you want to share? Uh, no, I'm glad to have enjoyed a smoke. What are you smoking? That's that Savinelli, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, this is Savinelli with their balsa wood system. But dry, I, uh, the yeah, dry system, yeah. I am missing the balsa wood. You know, filter. it's funny that 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 has a peel lip just like a like a, a Peterson. Peterson does. Yep. That's interesting. That's interesting. I'm smoking an Italian Mimo Provenzano. Um, what is that? A bull cap? Is that a bull cap or yeah, a Rhodesian? Rhodesian? Yeah. Um, Morta. Yeah. This is this is remember that Morta that I bought. And then it cracked. Yeah. They sent me this one <laughs> for a replacement. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I didn't know you had to, you got it in a replacement. Yeah, they sent it to me. I just had to pay the difference in the price. Oh, okay. And they didn't even charge me shipping. So that was cool. So, yeah, that's, yeah. That, that is really nice because I remember when you told me it cracked. I got that one fixed. <laughs> yeah. I sent it to Briarville and he fixed it. I smoked it. It smokes great. Huh. Yeah, no cracks in it no more. You put a bowl coating inside, it works great. So anyway, I'm, I'm pretty pleased. All right, guys. Well, we do appreciate you watching. We hope you enjoyed this. Give us your feedback. Let us know what you think about these tobacco taster episodes. Also, if you have a tobacco that you want to try for tobacco tasters, please send that to us because I'm kind of at a, at a blank right now. I know we've done... Uh, Virginia Perique. Yep. We've done this one as a Burley. Yep. Next month, we're going to do an, an Arrow. Arrow. Uh, the month after that, I'll pick an English to do, a, a bulk English. Yep. And after that, I don't have any, so send us your ideas. Yeah, Let us please know. Please do. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget. Make all your piping moments count. We'll see you next time. Enjoy your week. Go have a great smoke. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.